Uh, lahat po tayo ay magsitayo. Magandang hapon po sa bawat isa. Let us all rise for the blowing of shofar. chapter 60 arise jerusalem let your light shine for all to see for the glory of the lord rises to shine on you darkness as black as night covers all the nations of the earth but the glory of the lord rises and appears over you all nations will come to your light mighty kings will come to your radiance look and see for everyone is coming home your sons are coming from distant lands your daughters will be carried home. Your eyes will shine and your heart will thrill with joy. For merchants from around the world will come to you. They will bring you the wealth of many lands. Vast caravans of camels will converge on you. The camels of Midian and Epha. The people of Sheba will bring gold and frankincense and will come worshiping the Lord. The flocks of Kedar will be given to you. And the rams of Nebaioth will be brought for my altars. I will accept their offerings, and I will make my temple glorious. And what do I see flying like clouds to Israel, like doves to their nests? They are ships from the ends of the earth, from lands that trust in me, led by the great ships of Tarshish. They are bringing the people of Israel home from far away, carrying their silver and gold, they will honor the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has filled you with splendor. Foreigners will come to rebuild your towns, and their kings will serve you. For though I have destroyed you in my anger, I will now have mercy on you through my grace. Your, ga your gates will stay open day and night to receive the wealth of many lands. The kings of the world will be led as captives in a victory procession. For the nations that refuse to serve you will be destroyed. The glory of Lebanon will be yours, the forests of Cyprus, fir and pine, to beautify my sanctuary. My temple will be glorious. The descendants of your tormentors will come and bow before you. Those who despised you will kiss, will kiss your feet. They will call you the city of the Lord and Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Though you were once despised and hated, with no one traveling through you, I will make you beautiful forever, a joy to all generations. Powerful kings and mighty nations will satisfy your every need as though you were a child nursing at the breast of a queen. You will know at least that I, the Lord, am your savior and your redeemer, the mighty one of Israel. I will exchange your bronze for gold, your iron for silver, your wood for bronze and your stones for iron. I will make peace your leader and righteousness your ruler. Violence will disappear from your land. The desolation and destruction of war will end. Salvation will surround you like city walls and praise will be on the lips of all who enter there. No longer will you need the sun to shine by day nor the moon to give its light by night. For the Lord your God will be your everlasting light and your God will be your glory. Your sun will never set, your moon will never go down, for the Lord will be your everlasting light. Your days of mourning will come to an end. All your people will be righteous. They will possess their land forever, for I will plant them there with my own hands in order to bring myself glory. The smallest family will become a thousand people, and the tiniest group will become a mighty nation. At the right time, I, the Lord will make it happen. May the Lord bless His word. Amen for the reading of His word and listening. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat at maging sa mga nag-join sa atin this time sa online. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. Pakingitian nga po ang, ang mga nasa tabi natin dito sa sanctuary. Ayan. 
sabihin po natin, handa ka na bang magpuri sa ating Panginoon? Amen! Handang-handa na po. Hallelujah! Damhin po natin ang pagmamahal ng Lord as we sing and worship the Lord today. Amen. has quaked before Moved by the sound of His voice Seas that are shaken and stirred Can be calm and broken for my regard Through it all, through it all My eyes are on you Through it all, through it all, it is well. Through it all, through it all, my eyes are on you. It is well with me. Not believe. Even when my eyes can't see And this mountain as in front of me Will be thrown into the midst of the sea Through it all, through it all My eyes are on you Through it all, through it all it is well Well 
through it all, my eyes are on you. Through it all, through it all, it is well. Through it all, through it all, my eyes are on you. It is well with me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We can trust in your ultimate power. We can trust in your omnipresence, O oh God. We can fully trust you, Lord, that you know what you're doing in our lives. And that is, we just have to trust you. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace. We love you, Lord. We receive your love today.
And you are to love Adonai your God with all your heart, all your being, and all your resources. Panginoon, uh, thank you po sa prayer. Nasa Baguio po ngayon si Ruth at saka po si Pastora Ella for the anniversary, 14th anniversary po ng Shalom by the Grace of God sa Baguio. Uh, na pinangungunahan po ni Pastor, ni nung Pastor Ed at saka po ni Pastora Via Dakanay. Okay, purihin po ang Panginoon. Praise God. So I would like to read from Isaiah chapter 6, verses 1 to 8, sa NLT version. It was in the year King Uzziah died that I saw the Lord. He was sitting in the lofty throne, on a lofty throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Filled the temple, attending him were mighty seraphim, each having six wings. With two wings, they covered their faces. With two, they covered their feet, and with two, they flew. They were calling out to each other, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of heaven's armies. The whole earth is filled with His glory. Their voices shook the temple to its foundations, and the entire building was filled with smoke. Then I said, It's all, it's all over. I am doomed, for, I'm, for I am a sinful man. I have filthy lips, and I live among a people with filthy lips. Yet I have seen the king... The Lord of heaven's armies. Then one of the seraphim flew to me with a burning coal he had taken from the altar with a pair of tongs. He touched my lips with it and, and said, See, this, coals, this coal has touched your lips. Now your guilt is removed and your sins are forgiven. Then I heard the Lord asking, Whom, whom should I send or whom should we send as a messenger to this people? Who will go for us, I said. And Isaiah said, the prophet Isaiah said, Here I am, send me. So, uh, lahat po, lahat, lahat, lahat buho ba, nag, may FB account ba tayong lahat? Okay, sige. Yung walang FB account, okay lang po yun. Pero have you noticed something about sa social media? Hindi lang po sa FB. A bigger portion of it, anong, anong emotion ang ini-evoke niya o inilalabas niya sa mga tao. Mapwerdo sa comedy, ha? Doon sa mga patawa. Especially, pag may nag-post, maganda or good, maganda or positive or negative. Okay? Sige po, majority of it, okay, negative. Okay, negative. Lalo na po pag binasa po natin yung mga comments. Kahit maganda, kahit maganda po yung event, maganda yung post, along the way, may mababasa ka pa rin pangit. At nakakalungkot po, majority pa rin ay pangit. Why is it happening? Uh, social media is, uh, it gives a lot of information, but we are being conditioned to, basically, we are being conditioned to hate. Okay? Okay? We are being conditioned to hate easily. Mas madaling ma-evoke yung, yung galit at mag-react. Okay? It takes a lot of maturity para hindi ka mag-react. Okay? May mga, may, mga, may mga salita po tayo, may mga ginagawa po tayo that sometimes ay hindi natin sinasadya na nagkakamali. 
pero it can easily yung judgment ng tao napakabilis po nilang pakawalan kaagad pero yung pagsusorry ay napakahirap Okay, nakapagsalita, ay, naku, mali pala yung pagkakaano ko. Mali pala yung judgment ko. Mali pala yung nakita ko. Iba pala yung ibig sabihin ng picture or yung post. Hindi pala akong pinatutungkala nun. Madaling magbitaw ka agad ng reaction. Pero ang hirap bawiin at maghingi, humingi ng, ng sorry. Okay, nagkamali ako. Tapos may nag-comment ka agad doon sa group chat namin. Okay? Nag-apologize ako dahil on my part, kasalanan ko yon Pero wala pong ano, Wala man lang bumawi dun sa judge. Hindi you know, I'm not expect ng babawiin nila pero ay, ay pasensya na po uh, kala ko po nasa siya. Pero we could but that is our nature, fallen nature natin. Sabi po ng mga psychologist or ng iba naming teachers, ang ating pong we because of that fallenness, yung po pa lang sinabi ng Panginoon kay Adam and Eve ay ganito. If you eat this fruit na ipinagbabawal ko. Okay? If you eat this fruit na ipinagbabawal ko, na hindi para sa inyo, sabi doon, ano sabi po? You're going to die. Okay? Death will be upon you. Pero, ang word po pala doon, to clarify it, is hindi death na mamamatay ka agad, but yung death na you will be dying. Okay, so nakita po natin from Adam and Eve, unti-unting nag-decline and continuous na nagde-decline po ang tao. Okay, si yung unang, yung kanilang panganay, si Cain, pinatay yung sarili niyang kapatid. We are dying. That's the process that we are in. But salamat po sa Panginoon, through He initiated a covenant to arrest yung, to st- hindi man totally, sa, to at least... Open a different door, an option that will bring life. Okay? So, and someone responded. Sino po yun? Abraham responded. And maybe, siguro, gawa natin ng konting kwento, no? Maybe yung, yung, yung offer na yun na binigay ng Panginoon kay Abraham was offered not just to Abraham. It might have been offered to other, to other patriarch na nauna pa sa kanya or... mga kasabay niya o contemporary niya. But he responded. Si Reinhard Bonke po, sa story na narinig ko is, 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 um, ano bang nationality ni Reinhard Bonk? German. <laughs> Di ba? Nakakatawa, German siya. <laughs> okay? Pero, in his testimony, sabi niya, he was an evangelist to Africa. Kung hindi po ako nagkakamali. He's an evangelist. Parang si, ah, sino ba evangelist natin? Si, sino to? Billy Graham, parang ganun po yung kanyang kalibre. Okay? Pero sabi niya, I was not the first that have heard na narinig na tanggap, na ini-offer itong mantel ng Panginoon to be an evangelist to Africa. It was not. Hindi akong una, I might have been the third to have been na ini-offer ito. Okay? Maaring yung dalawa, si yung mga men and women of God, pag binasa po natin yung early life nila, marami po silang kasabay. But along the way, yung kanilang mga contemporaries gave up do sa calling. Pag tumatawag po ang Panginoon, napansin ko, hindi po siya tumatawag ng isa lang. Lagi pong may mga kasama. With them. But, okay. Nawawala po along the way. We don't know. But because... It's, it's a challenge to maintain that heart, a forgiving heart. Okay? So, challenge po yun. And now, ang ini-invoke po ng social media, majority ng so, hindi po lahat, marami nagpo-post ngayon ng prayer, ng testimonies, praise the Lord. Pero majority na ini-invoke ng social media is hate and negativity. And that's a sign Hindi, hindi, it's not a good sign. But it's a sign. Why? Kasi po, every time God is, before the Lord will do anything, bago humigagawin ng Panginoon ng maganda, umiintrada muna ho ang kaaway to discourage His people that God is about to do something. 
Okay? Example, Holocaust. It was a very dark moment in history of mankind. Second World War. Maraming, 6 million, 7 million Jews died or more. Okay? Pero hindi pa huyan ng worst. Ang sabi nila, ang worst daw ay si, si Istali. At yung mga iba pang leaders. Mga sa China, ganyan. Bakit po? At least si, at least daw, si Hitler, ang pinapatay, hindi niya kababayan. <laughs> Si, si Isli no, ang pinapatay, mga more than 30, 20 million na sarili niyang kababayan. At sa China, ganun din. Sarili nilang mga kababayan. At least daw si Hitler. <laughs> Pero, whether kababayan mo, hindi. Yung, yung Holocaust is an example of what, yun nga lang po yung iba, hindi masyadong recorded. It was highlighted kasi systematic po yung ano, pagkakagawa. As in, plinano talaga to the dot. Okay. It was the dark. But it was also a birth of a nation. Because of the Holocaust, Israel was born. Unexpectedly. Okay? For thousands of years. For hundreds, Ilang libo pong, almost 2,000 years walang Israel. But out of that darkness and difficulty, Israel was born. And kanina ho, hindi ko alam yun ipababasa ni Ruth, yung Isaiah chapter 60. Okay? Kasi sanay, sanay naman tayo ganun, no? Na yung iba pong ano, ibang ano, nakaprepare na yung program way ahead. Tayo po hindi, sanay tayo, pak! Okay, ready. <laughs> So, hindi ko alam na Isaiah 60 pala yung papababasa niya. Kanina lang, binanggit niya. Okay? So, in that darkness, what I'm trying to say, the Lord is preparing us, we are seeing this, ang, nakakalong, ang medyo challenging po ngayon, it is very subtle. Yung katulad ng mga social media, it is very subtle. Ano pong very subtle? Hindi siya obvious na kinukondition tayo na hindi maganda yung effect eventually, na madaling ma-evoke yung emotions sa mga tao towards anger and hate. Okay. Napanood na pong mag billiards si Efren Bata. What can you note, what, what is his difference over other billiard players na nakasabay niya? Wala siya masyadong... <laughs> Nag-pustisya na siya. He, ano pa siya po sa kanya? He's very calm. Okay. Parang hindi siya kinakabahan. Tapos kahit may mga, nakas- may mga nakalaban po siya, nakakompetensya sa sa billiards that are very loud. Talagang i- 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 intimidate ka. Masyadong maingay. Pero siya, hindi siya masyadong Maselita, very cool. And in that calmness, he was able to create shots that are almost impossible. Okay? Kaya po ang tawag sa kanya ay the magician. Kasi siya lang ang nakakagawa ng mga ganong klaseng tira. Okay? And it, ito po, it is very subtle and but it's dark. Madilim. Ginagapang tayo pa unti-unti. Why? Because ang next, ang next, um, God is preparing something. Why is the Lord introducing us to, yung katulad po na sinan, si, sinir ko ng Sunday, yung to be aware of God's presence, ipiniprepare din po tayo ng Panginoon. Okay? So, uh, this is the experience of of the prophet Isaiah. He was in the temple, and in his, sa kanya pong namatay ang si King Uzziah, ganito ho pa wala nung unang panahon, nung matandang panahon. Uh, nanood ba kayo ng Game of Thrones? 
O, oh, kahit isang chapter. Ano, panood ko lang yun po yung first, pinatay si Ned, Ned Stark. Yun lang. Hindi, wala, hindi, hindi ko na masyadong nag-gets. Later on, kanil lang siya. Hindi ko ho napanood. Wala akong napanood. Yun lang. Mga clips and everything. Pero ang napanood ko lang, si Ned Stark, pinatay and everything. And later on, I found out, ubusan pala ng pamilya yun. <laughs> Pag ganito ang apelyido mo, nako, halimbawa si si Mark, eh, si Mark, kung Stark ang apelyido niya, kahit sa ang lupa-lupa siya ng, ng Seven Kingdoms mapapunta, at siya, yung pamilya Stark is to be annihilated, hahanapin si Mark. Ipapapatay. During the old times, ganun po pala. Pag namatay yung isang hari at yung pumalit ay hindi ka mag-anak, everything na kamag-anak nung dating hari, kahit po ipinagbubuntis pa lang, ipapapatay po iyon. So that there will be no threat to overthrow yung existing and present kingship. Okay? Sabi nga iba, pati aso ipapapatay. Ganun kalupit. Kaya, we don't know, but maybe kaya nasa temple si, si Isaiah, he might have been affiliated with King Uzziah. Every advisor, every, ipapapatay po lahat. Kaya ho pala, ganun ang plano ng, ng kaaway sa Israel. Ipapaubos lahat. Why? Because pag wala ng Israel, wala ng claim o mag, mag, magtataas ang bandila ng tipa ng Panginoon sa mundo. Kasi po yun ang, yun ang claim ng Lord eh, upon the earth. His covenant with Abraham. Abraham responded. And we were designated type of mga tao. We are designated to be caretakers of the Lord. Someone responded. So now, the Lord has a claim. May nag-respond. Okay? So what's going to happen now? Sigur, reveal lang po natin yung ko the last Sunday. This is what's happening with us now. We are being renewed by the Lord inwardly. And that happens in when we decide to put ourselves in solitude. Okay? I- 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 isolate tayo ng Panginoon na tayo ay tayo po ay kanya lang si si Moses he was isolated he was in solitude for 40 years okay may iba't ibang degree si si David he was chosen around pinili po siyang uh, armor bearer ni King Saul when he was around 17 or 18 and from that time on, uh, sabihin natin at, at the age of 20, nagsimula na po siyang magtago because he was a threat according to Saul. He was a threat to the kingdom dahil nakita, niya yung, nakita ni Saul yung mantle ng Lord na kay David na wala na sa kanya. Okay? And for, 40 year, uh, for, tw- for the next 20 years, David was ano ho, nagtatago. And for 20 years, Saul was after his life. And na nakakapagtaka, for that 20 years, hindi ho kailan man nagsilita si David against King Saul. And marami yung itinuro ang Panginoon kay David in the 20 years. Okay? So, in solitude, in times that we are being isolated by the Lord, may itinuturo, may inihanda po ang Panginoon sa atin. Okay? Next, the upward presence. And in that isolation, in that time of solitude, we learn to depend on God. Okay? Naalala niyo po si David, nung nag-take over si Absalom, ano pong ginawa niya? He, he vacated the throne. At sabi na, sabi ng iba niyang mga, maybe ah, sabi ng iba niyang ano, sabi, niya, sabi, sabi ng iba niya siguro mga sundalo at advisor kay David, sabi niya, we could fight him off. Pwede naman po, bakit po? Lahat po na nakapaligid kay David ay battle-tested na mga sundalo. But ano hong decision ni David? He decided to, to abandon the throne. Okay. 
may babasahin po ako sa inyo na sinulat ng isang author about, ginawa niya lang ng kwento si David. Sabi dito, doon sa kanyang ginawang script ni David, sabi ni David, The throne is not mine, not to have, not to take, not to protect, not to keep. Okay, sabi ni David, the throne, doon sa script na ginawa po ng author, na binabasa kong isa, the throne is not mine. Ano pong, he, he, what he is trying to say, all authority comes from the Lord. Kung gusto kong ibalik ng Panginoon, when he was running away, ibabalik ako ng Panginoon. Okay? But he never spoke anything against, Saul, he never spoke anything against his own son na nag po sa kanya. Kaya ang Lord po ang nagbalik sa kanya. And the Lord established them. Praise God. And we learn that to pray, to depend on God. Hindi po madali, no? Kasi tumatakbo po yung utang natin, nagpa-plano na tayo. Ano kayong susunod kong gagawin? David abandoned, not just the throne, he abandoned the plan na paano kaya ako babalik? He was waiting for God to give him instruction or to give him the grace to be able to go back. To reveal himself, the Lord, David would want the Lord to reveal himself. Katulad po nung kay Isaiah, the Lord revealed himself. Next. Okay. And those who will encounter the Lord in the last days, katulad na nangyari kay Isaiah, he encountered the Lord, he discovered himself, Lord, marami pala akong, ano, marami pala akong sabit pa, marami pala akong inaayos sa akin. Amen? It will take a lifetime. It doesn't end na inaayos po tayo ng Panginoon. It doesn't end na may mga bagay po na tinuturo at inexpose ang Panginoon sa atin. If we thought, okay na tayo doon, hindi pa pala. Inaayos pa rin po tayo ng Panginoon. So, those who will encounter the... We need that encounter from God. Bakit po? The world is angry and the Madali hong magalit ang, ang mga taang mundo. Okay? Mamaya may kikwento po ako sa inyo, yung wisdom ng Lord sa Israel. Okay? Okay. Sige po, uh, diretsyo na natin. Doon sa picture, laktawan na natin yan. Iyan ko na. Next, yan. Uh, someone posted it, si Kuya Boyet. Sabi niyan. <laughs> The mi- ano ba yan? Nakikita niyo po ba? The medicine, the medicine you need, forgive, forgive na all, <laughs> or forgiven na sa lahat. It depends on how you read it. Pinatawa na tayo sa lahat. Sa lahat ng ating pagkukulang, sa lahat ng ating kasalanan. And sabi na isa pong, nabibless ako doon sa isang pastor, ang prayer niya lagi sa Panginoon is, Lord, Give me an unoffended heart. Yung heart na mad- hindi naman sa hindi na offend, but puso na madaling magpatawad. Mahirap po yung prayer. And I realize now na mahirap yung prayer na yun. Bakit po? When you pray that prayer, Lord, give me a heart that is not easily offended. Papadalang ka lagi ng Lord na mga very offending na tao. And the Lord is going to place you in positions that you're going to be offended. And to decide not to be offended is hindi yung madali. And sana nga ho madaling lunukin tong tabletang ito, ay ang capsule na ito, o ang gamot na ito, na inum lang ng ilom. Alam niyo ba, there are times, pag umiinom mo ako ng gamot, inululuwa ko na kasi hindi ko na malunok minsan. Okay? Kaya ho, dapat pag iinom ho ako ng gamot, walang ibang, nauna na yung gamot bago yung pagkain. Okay? Pag, pag nauna yung pagkain bago yung gamot, iisa-isahin ko yun. Okay? Mas mahirap. And this is a difficult pill to swallow, to always position ourselves in forgiveness. But this is what the Lord is going to do in this 
dark season, in these dark times, He is about to unveil Himself more. At makikita po natin yung ating mga sarili. Why? We are going to be led into the position of hospitality, katulad po ng encounter na Isaiah. Lord, here am I, send me. Okay? A vessel of peace, a vessel of healing. Kaya kung marami po tayong dina, pinagdadaanan ngayon ng mga masasakit because we are being prepared to be that vessel of healing. Next. Okay. This is, uh, wala akong pointer. Paki-forward nung next picture. Okay, this is President Shimon Peres of Israel. Namatay po siya ng 2016. This is 2010. Balik natin yung isang picture. Uh, Holocaust Memorial Celebration yan in Germany. Okay? So, ang Holocaust was initiated by Hitler. It was supported by the German government. Hindi naman po lahat ng German uh, nationals, ng lahat ng Germany ay nag kay Hitler dun sa kanyang ginawa. There were those who resisted it. But as a whole, in general, na, na ano sila, na condition yung utak for so many years. Kinundition po ni, ni Hitler yung maraming Germans that annihilating the Jews and communists and other na mga hindi ka tanggap tanggap pag pinatay, okay lang yun. They were conditioned. Okay? But this is a breakthrough moment for Germany and for Israel especially for Israel, that this man, si President Shimon Peres, stood before a gathering of Germans and declaring forgiveness and blessing for, for Israel. Okay? Alam niyo po nang... Sige, pakita natin yung picture ni Shimon Peres. Nung nagsisimula na po na i-persecute ng mga Germans ang mga Jews, una sa Europe and ano... Uh, sinakop nilang Poland. Shimon Peres was born in Poland. Lahat, yung naiwan po niyang kamag-anak, yung kanyang lolo, at mga kamag-anak na naiwan sa Poland. Kasi ho sila nag-migrate. Nung nag-start ng persecution, nauna po ang tatay niya, binan, nilagay, itinax yung kanilang negosyo. Tapos so sabi niya, hindi na tayo ano rito, lipat tayo, na, lipat tayo ng Israel. So nauna po ang tatay niya. And then, after po ng tax, persecution naman. May pinatay ho silang kababayan. So, ano na yun? Nag, nag-decide na po ang nanay ni Shimon Perez. Hindi na, hindi na, hindi na natin antayin ng tatay mo na padalang pa tayo ng pera. Biyahe na tayo papuntang Israel. So, nagbiyahe na po sila. Pero yung mga matatanda decided to stay. At ibang mga kamag-anak nila decided to stay. And you know what happened? Nung pumasok na po ang Germany and conquered, invaded Poland, Sinunog po, pinapasok ko lahat sa synagogue at siya pong kayang lolo na isa sa mga mentors niya na nagturo sa kanya ng script ng, ng Torah ay sinunog po sa loob ng synagogue. Okay? That was his pain. And he went through a lot of wars. At alam niyo po, alam mo na pang kapayapa, payapa talaga yung puso niya. Bakit po? When he was, hindi ho siya nakatapos ng high school, and he was, he rose to ranks, naging political leader siya, eventually, one of the leaders and pillars ng rebuilding of Israel, binibigyan ho siya ng, rang, ng rango na colonel. Kasi pala, pag sundalo ka sa Israel, mas madali kang makapasok sa politika. Because of the nature of the land and the situation, pero he refused it. And it was beneficial along the way. Bakit po? Yung mga secret negotiations siya ang pinapadala between countries. Kasi hindi ho siya sundalo. Technically, wala, hindi siya, wala siyang rango, wala siyang... So tanggap siya ng kahit na sinong mga political leaders. So that happened in 2010. At alam niyo po, yung wisdom na binigay ng Lord sa kanya, sabi niya, we should find something na mag-iisip ng dalawang beses yung mga 
katabi nating bansa bago nila tayo atakihin. Ano pong naisip niya? Maglagay sila ng nuclear reactor. Ano po yung nuclear reactor? Ibig, pag may nuclear reactor ka, ibig sabihin, kaya mong gumawa ng mga nuclear weapons. Pero wala ho silang makuhanan. Walang gustong magbenta. And wala rin ho silang pambili. <laughs> Pero ganito ang binigay ng wisdom ng Lord sa kanya because he is a man of peace. Ganito ang ginawa ng Lord sa kanya. Um, merong willing na nagbenta. Ay, sabi, ay hindi ho. Nagkaroon ng panang agreement sa Europe. Bawal magbenta ng kahit na anong nuclear arms, ano uranium na core, power supply ng nuclear ng nuclear reactor bawal magbenta sa anumang bansa sa sa Middle East kasi po war freak yung mga taga Middle East okay so bawal magbenta so nakiisip siya ng paraan naging friend niya yung mga top of, may ilang top officials siya na naging kaibigan sa France nagkasama sila sa ilang negotiations at sabi niya hindi nyo kami bibent, pwede bang mag-propose? Huwag nyo kaming bentahan. Ipahiram nyo lang. <laughs> At pag kailangan nyo na, isusoli namin kaagad. <laughs> okay? So, nag-agree. Sabi, oh ba? Mag- Kasi may, may ano rin, may ano rin ang France. Meron din silang, meron din silang interest sa Middle East. Meron silang tension na kailangan nilang ma-resolve that affects them. So, they, they worked with Israel. Ang pangako lang ng Israel, wag na wag niyo itong gagamitin in defense. Ano in defense? Wag siyang gagamitin sa gera. Secret po yun. Pero in the mind of Shimon, pero sabi niya, we have to have this para at least maisip ng mga gustong gumiera sa atin, meron tayong nuclear weapons. And when we have nuclear weapons, we could easily counterattack and eliminate them. Okay? Pero meron silang pangako, hindi gagamitin in, in defense, in war. Pero ganun yung ano, pag meron tayo nito, there's a possibility, mag-iisip ngayon yung mga nakapaligid sa atin, mahirap na, mas malaki baril nila. Okay? But they were not going to use it sa gera. Okay? So, ang nangyari pa, di nag-agree na po yung, yung dalawang tao na kailangan mag-agree. Ang problema po, yung prime minister na supposedly huling perma para maipahiram sa kalina ang uranium ay natanggal sa pwesto. Nung araw na pipirmahan na. <laughs> Pero alam niyo po, nakakatawa, you know that it's wisdom from God. Sabi niyo doon sa kaibigan, yung prime minister na natanggal, sabi niya, pwede nating i-backdate Sabi niyo, you want me to lie? Sabi niya, what are friends for? It's just 24 hours. <laughs> so, ginawa po nila, binakdate, nag-agree yung natanggal na prime minister na merong agreement. Kasi he was already there bago pa siya matanggal. He was waiting for the prime minister na nandun sa parliament na nagtatal o nagbobotohan or something. If, if kung lumabas lang siya saglit at pumirma, tapos na talaga yung usapan. It was really on time. But because siguro tense yung mga nangyayari sa loob, hindi siya nakalabas. So sabi ni Shimon Perez, backdate na lang natin. Tropa naman tayo eh. And it happened, nagkaroon sila ng no nuclear reactor, naging source, power supply, and everything. They were able to develop. At alam niyo po, Binigyan ako ng isang pastor ng libro about the innovations of Israel. And ang kanilang may spiritual purpose po pala. Sabi niya, we could not forget our spiritual calling, spiritual purpose. Okay? Pwede natin pakita yung ano, Isaiah 60, verses 1 to 3. Yung binasa kanina ni Hana. Arise, Jerusalem, let your light shine for all to see, for the glory of the Lord rises to shine on you. Next. Darkness as black as night covers all the nations of the, is of the earth, but the glory of the Lord rises and appears over you. 
All nations will come to your light. Mighty kings will come to see your radiance. Sabi niya, sabi nung na offer nung innovations in Israel, we have this spiritual mandate to bring healing to the world. So though they are at war, though they have experienced the Holocaust and everything, the most painful experience a nation can possibly go through. Tinawag pa rin sila ng Panginoon to be a healing in all those chaos. Okay? Ang Israel lang po, ang nag-iisang bansa, that you have both. Ano yung you have both? Na dinaranas mo yung persecution at dinaranas mo rin yung abundance. Twofold. Unusual po yun. Walang masyadong gano, walang bansa na gano'n. That carries that distinction. Okay? Anong term na ginagamit po, yung sinishare ni Ruthie? Wounded, wounded healer. In our pains, in our woundedness, in our struggles, dun sa mga kabigatan natin, in the problems that we are going through, we learn from it. And by because of the grace of God, they decided to forgive. Shimon Perez decided to forgive. As a father, one of the fathers of ano, ang mentor niyo po ay si Ben Gurion, yung founding father. Yung makikita yung weird yung kanyang buhok. Panot yun dito, kulot dito. <laughs> yun ang mentor niya. And Shimon Perez decided to forgive those yung country that was that have planned their annihilation in the Second World War. And ganito po, we will all go through this offense and pain. The enemy will try to inflict pain on us. But the difference is, pag nasa Lord po tayo, those pain, those wounds, will be turned na magiging kagalingan. But for those who refuse to be to come to the to the healer, to the doctor of all doctors, ang Panginoong Jesus, that pain, alam po natin ito, those who were abused will eventually become an abuser. Pag hindi ho sila dumaan sa proseso ng kagalingan. If they would not find healing in the Lord, they will the pain that they have, ipapasa po nila yan, it, it will mul, multiply. But those who have been wounded and they come to the Lord, they will experience healing. And that healing that they have experienced will also be multiplied. Ipapasa din po nila yan sa mga tao. We will all go through difficult times and challenges. Lahat po tayo dumadaan yan. One way or another, we are broken vessels. And the only difference is, sa kalagitnaan po ng lahat ng ito, is the Lord Jesus Christ. Siya lang ang nagdadala ng pagkakaiba. For those who will meet Him, katulad ni Isaiah, eventually, they will be blessings of healing. Okay? Remember Paul? Ano pong kanyang... Ano yung kanyang unang ginagawa? He was persecuting those who were following the way or following the the apost uh, following the way of Jesus. He was persecuting the Christians. But when he met the Lord along the way, anong nangyari po sa kanya? Nabulig siya for three days, hindi siya kumain, hindi siya umino. He found the Lord. The Lord spoke to him. And he was healed. And yung dati niyang ginagawa, na ipinapapatay niya yung mga Christians na baligtad. He is now promoting the way of the Lord. Yung kanyang woundedness na baligtad, naging daluyan ng kagalingan at buhay sa marami. Amen? So, we are in this uh, darkness is covering the earth, but remember the promise of the Lord sa Israel, the glory of the Lord shall be revealed to Israel and it will, it will bring the nation back. Kaya ho yung back to Jerusalem. Okay? It's, we're going back to life. We're going back to where healing is. Kagalingan, kalakasan. 
And as we go through that, we will be vessels of blessing and healing sa lahat po nangyayari sa ating kapaligiran. Amen? So let us be excited. Um, nakakalungkot po minsan yung social media. Alam niyo po yan? Alam ko po, no? Sa mga nagpe-pray, yung nagpe-pray ka sa Lord, you know the presence of God, minsan pag uh, yung unang bukas mo pa lang, alam mo na hindi sa Lord, no? Nairita yung spirito. <laughs> Nairita yung tinga mo, sumasakit ulo mo. Okay, may, mga, may mga ganong tao na sensitive sa ano. Okay? At meron din mga tao very attracted sa ano. Sa ganon, sa violence. Ah! You know. So, if it's not the Lord na. Pag sumasakay yung ulo mo, nung, yun hong, yun hong kunikwento ko kay Shimon Peros is, napanood ko sa Netflix. And yung, nasa huling part yung ano, yung nag-speak siya sa Germany. And umiiyak po ako nung nagsasaya. Wala ako naiintindihan doon sa sinasabi niya. But I was crying because that's God's, that's God's will. You don't achieve that, you don't do that dahil kaya mo, but because it's a gift na galing sa Panginoon. Okay? So, hindi po natin ito, we don't accomplish this. We are recipient. We receive this from God. We, alam ko po na intindihan niyo. Hindi po dahil may ginawa tayo kaya natin, kaya tayo dumating doon sa ganung puntos. Dumadating tayo sa ganung puntos because yung biyaya po ng Panginoon. As we humble ourselves, we're going to go through difficult situation. Pero when we decide to take the pill, Lord, give us that grace to swallow that pill. Swallow pride, pagpatawa din everything. Hindi po madali. But that's the way of the Lord. Amen? So, pwede po tayong tumayong lahat. <coughs>
never runs out on me. Your love never fails, never gives up, never runs out on me. Your love never fails, never gives up, never runs out on me. rose from the dead and on the road to Damascus on the road to the Emmaus road Lord you're walking with two disciples and hindi po nila napansin ka agad o hindi nila nakita ka agad na kayo po pala yun na kasabay nila Panginoon there's they are in pain they are grieving they are afraid because of what happened during the crucifixion maybe they have lost hope maybe all that they have heard from you ay parang nawala ng saisay father your promise remains in all the pains, in all the difficulties, in all the challenges sa amin pong pinagdaanan, dinadaanan pa, ang pangako niyo po sa amin ay hindi niyo po kami hihiwan, hindi niyo po kami ipababayaan. That road to Emmaus, well, it didn't end. You are always with us. To show us the way kung saan kami dapat pumunta, ano mga bagay na dapat namin gawin, Panginoon. So, sa pagkakatumpong ito, Ama, ano po ang aming mga kabigatan, ano po ang aming mga sakit na nararamdaman, isinusuko po namin ito sa iyo. Ano ang po mga pag-aalala 
na maaring nagpapabigat sa aming mga damdamin, kaisipan, isinusuko din po namin ito sa iyo, Panginoon. And you are restoring the tabernacle of David. It's not just about the prayer or the worship. It's about when your presence is with us, we are able to do way and beyond. This is kung kami lang, Panginoon. But because your prayer is, your your presence and your power is there, katulad po ni David, naranasan niya at nakita niya ang iyong kapangyarihan. You have revealed your yourself to him. Katulad na nangyari kay kay Isaiah, Panginoon. Hospitality and forgiveness. Yung paglilingkod sa iba at pagpapatawad sa iba, pag sa iba ay mas nagiging bukas at magaan. For on our own, people left on their own are selfish and easily angered. But we thank you that You have promised the Holy Spirit sa aming kalagitnaan as we continue to dwell and declare your word in our midst. We are kung paano pong dying si Adam and Eve when they ate the fruit that was forbidden. Now that we have received from you, now that we have committed our lives to you, now that we have Welcome the power of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit in our midst. And we have declared by faith that there is nothing and no one like you. We are now in the path of life and living. Katulad po ng sinabi niyo sa John chapter 10. You, you came that we might have life and have that life in abundance. Kaya salamat po, Panginoon. We are walking in that life, we are walking in the light, and we thank you for that. Kaya salamat po, Panginoon, all our burdens, all those pains, we thank you for healing. We thank you for the strength and the comfort that you continue to send through the Holy Spirit. We honor you, we give you praise in Yeshua's name. Amen and Amen. Praise the Lord. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Maari po tayo mo po. A request for our communion. The other day, uh, med- siguro nainis sa akin yung kausap ko. Yung to, alam niyo po yun, nababasa niyo yung tono ng kanyang text. Okay? Inis na siya. So, sa kada dulo po ng text ko, hindi, ginagawa ko naman po lagi niya. Sa kada dulo po ng text ko, kung ka-text niya ako kaya sa messenger, lagi po ano yan, may salamat po, God bless. So, hindi niya naman ako kilala talaga. So, medyo inis na yung tono niya sa akin. Kada reply ko, salamat po, God bless. So, may sasabihin na naman siya, salamat po, God bless. Ina-acknowledge ko yung kanyang sinasabi. So, sa, sa dulo, salamat po, God bless. Salamat po, God bless. Okay? So, so meron siya yung gustong sabihin, hindi niya masabi ng diretsyo. Okay? Nung sinabi niya na ng diretsyo, sabi ko, ay, naku po, pasensya na. Uh, pasensya na po sa ganito, ganyan. Tapos, ulit-ulit, salamat po, God bless. Tapos, saka siya nag-reply, okay po, God bless. <laughs> Alam niyo po yun, you have to sow 30 20, salamat po, God bless. Sa kakapalangaani ng isa. Okay? God bless din po. <laughs> so, I said, Lord, pero lagi po siyang may pinanggagalingan. I know, someone influenced you to do that. Okay? So, ang isa po sa influence ko on that is si Pastora Ella Narvaez, kapatid po ni Kuya Tony. Sa kanya, yung, sa kanya ko narinig when I was younger na laging God bless. Lagi hong dulo niya, God bless, God bless. 
It took me years bago ko na bago ko nasundan 'yon. But it stuck on my it stuck on my head. Lagi siya ganoon. God bless. God bless. Laging dulo niya. Hindi ko pa magaya when I was still with her. It took time. No? Taon. Matagal. Pero now I'm learning it. And kahit po ginagawa ko na, pag naiinis ka, hindi pa rin. Madali. <laughs> But we have to sow that seed. We have received it from the Lord. We can sow it. Amen? God bless. Napaka-ikli. Dalawang word lang. Pero... Hopefully, that will create and impact other people. How? We don't know. Pwede po tayo tumayo. Tayo po yung manalangin. Panginoon, as we celebrate the communion, you have committed yourself for, for this union, Panginoon. Kayo po ang nang nagsabi, And kayo rin po ang gumawa ng paraan para makarating po kami sa ganitong kalalagayan that we are in that position of being brought back to you. One step at a time, nararanasan po namin ang inyong kagalingan. Kaya salamat po sa ilalim ng bubong at biyaya at kasaganaan ng iyong tipan sa amin. Nakara- nakararanas kami ng kagalingan at kalakasan nakararanas kami ng kasaganaan, Panginoon, sa lahat ng bahagi po ng aming buhay na kulang, kayo po ang pumupuno. Salamat po, Ama. Kaya sa pagtanggap po namin ng Diyos at ng tinapay nito, aming inihahayag at idinideklara ang aming walang hanggang pagpapasalamat, Panginoon, sa inyo pong katapatan sa bawat isa po sa amin, Ama. Kaya salamat po, tinatanggap namin ang selyo ng tipan na ito, ng iyong inila, inialay niyo po ang inyong bugtong na anak para po may, may panumbali kami sa inyong piling. Kaya salamat po, tinatanggap namin ang tinapay at ang alak na ito sa pangalan po ng aming Panginoong Jesus. Amen. Tanggapin po natin ang tinapay, inumin po natin yung juice. So we'll go on po with our offering and
So, ngayon po, nasa we go to our giving. And sila pong ready na mag-bless sa Lord as we honor the Lord with our tithes and offerings. And if you have your envelopes with you, yan, you can fill it out. Uh, it goes a long way po. Whenever we give, uh, whenever we give, it goes... It does a lot of things for us. It breaks a lot of things for us sometimes. Ngayon po, di ba, minsan mahirap magbigay kasi walang-wala ka rin. Pero when we learn to give, when we learn to think of others before dun sa mas maging giving tayo, maging generous tayo with everything that we have, unang-una sa Lord, it breaks yung spirit po ng, it breaks the spirit unang-una po ng entitlement and yung spirit of, yung lack and spirit of na yung pagrereklamo it's not really uh, it's not really on our own strength that we have yung ating pong kapasidad ngayon para kumita many of us might be earning a lot of a lot pero it in reality po sabi po sa word of god it is god who gives us the ability to gather wealth and it's just fitting if we be able to honor god dun sa natatanggap natin na honor natin ang lord with what we have not because in, wala pong problema sabi ko wala pong issue kung if you can buy these things and those stuff pero ang unang-una po natin is when we uh, we honor God through our finances if we manage it we steward it faithfully we do it hindi uh, wala pong problema makabili ka ng mga bagong cellphone bagong computer if you really need it pero po uh, when we have much or we are given more, sabi nga po sa Spider-Man, with, with much power, with great power comes great responsibility. When you are blessed all the more, sabi mo sa katabi, katabi mo, when you are blessed all the more, mas malaki yung responsibility. Yan. Not just na makabili ka or to provide for yourself, even to be a blessing to those people. And unang-una, maging, mamanage po natin well yung ating finances and even our times, yung whatever we have, and we, when we manage it well, it reflects po, it honors God more than anything else. Amen? Uh, we're not really after prosperity gospel, but we know the Lord will bless us all the more kasi kaya na, gusto nating mag-bless others. We want to expand the kingdom of God. We want to bless, we want to help people. Amen? We invest in, invest in people's lives. Yan, yun po yung ano natin sa Mana from Heaven Center. That's, that's how we want to give. That's how how we want to honor God through our finances, through our giving. And ngayon po, uh, kung nakakadaan po kayo sa baba, and even those joining us online, siguro po, this coming months, matapos na yung baba with all the needed funds and makapag-operate na fully yung school, tapos yung mga seminars natin sa function hall, yan, we'll be able to do it na. I think, coming weeks, okay na. Electric fan na lang sa yung mga glass windows, ay, doors pala. Para sa baba, we're done. And syempre, yung mga next project po natin, if you'd want to give, meron pa po tayong project for yung prayer farm natin sa Amadeo and yung ating garden. Ano yun? Ano yun? Prayer garden po sa Green Breeze. Yan. Those are our upcoming projects. To bless the body of Christ and to bless uh, people, yung mga ating pong tinutulungan. Amen. Sige po, if you're ready to give, ayan, prepare nyo po inyong envelopes. Lapit po sa inyo ating mga ushers. And those online, if you want to give, uh, if you're led to give, i-flash po namin on how you can give po through our China Bank account. So Gcash po, ayan. Yan, 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 yan po yung number. So, pwede nyo rin po i-drop off yung inyong tithes and offerings. Might be cash, checks, or whatever you want to give. Sa Balayong Office and sa House of Mana Co-op Office po natin kay Pastor Rafi and sa Balayong po kay Atinit sa ating treasurer. Sige po, let's all stand. Let's all rise up. Let's, let's lay our hands sa ating mga offering. Lord, we declare our offerings, our tithes, our first fruits, our teruma. Lord, let it be used for your glory all the more. Let it be used to advance your kingdom. Lord, let it pave the way for your coming, for your kingdom, to all the more be established in our lives, in our community, in our nation. Lord, let it be managed well. Be used for your glory. 
And Lord, ang bawat isa po sa amin, we open up our hearts to you as we manage our finances, as we steward our finances well, even our times, time or and everything that we are, as we steward it well, Lord, may you be honored, may you be glorified. Thank you for all the blessings. May we be good servants, may we be faithful servants who manage, Lord, yung binibigay niyo sa aming resources. And Lord, we are grateful, all, we are grateful Lord, for your preparing us, Lord, to receive more. And as we receive more, we'll be able to give more. Oh God, thank you for a generous heart and for all those things na patuloy niyong ipoprovide for us. And we declare healing and protection for us, Lord, sa mga sources of income namin. Be protected, be covered by your blood. Oh God, thank you for you are with us. And nothing can be against us when, you are, when we are with you, O oh Lord. Thank you. May we all be connected to the vine, Lord. Sa true source po ng ng pagpapala, ng kagalingan. Sa iyo lamang ito, Panginoong Jesus. Salamat po sa iyo lahat ng papuri. Para sa sa pangalan ng Panginoong Jesus. Amen and amen. Sige po, we may all take our seats. We'll do our announcement. Sige po, Ate Jing. Tapos na po yung ano natin, yung ICEJ. Tapos... And last week, we just had our new MCC all-in ang saya. So, so for, ne- for next September po, we'll have our, ano na, ang, ano tawag dito, yung anniversary po ng Yeshua Generation, that's on se- September. And ngayon po, is anniversary po ng Shalom Church sa Baguio, si Ate Ruth and si Ella ay nandun po. Uh, they are done with it, nagsimula po sila sa kanina 10 a.m., Let's pray for them. As they go back, bukas po yata ang uwi nila. And I'm not sure po dun sa schedule ng August 21 and 28 kung paano po ito gagawin. I, I, alam ko po magkakaroon pa ng changes dun sa ano ng co-op, schedule ng General Assembly. So if you have questions, yung mga member po ng co-op sa atin and those watching online, Le, uh, maging ano na po tayo I, let's just ang tawag dito check natin dun sa sa Facebook page ng co-op and contact po natin si Fa- Pastor Rafi if we have questions para po sa General Assembly and how we'll do it kasi po uh, medyo tricky kasi alam ko election din to eh yan so mahirap paghiwala yan hindi <laughs> alam ko Ma- mahirap mag ano ng election kung dalawang ano so let's just wait for it and every sun- every Wednesday po 7 to 8pm meron po tayong TOD Chapel. If you want to join, contact nyo lang po si Aturuti for the Zoom link. And it's done regularly every Wednesday. Prayer po natin. And Tabernacle of David natin. And sa August 24 po, yung ating Journey of Generosity number 8. If you are part of this, yan. sa August 24 po yung next 7pm to 9pm. It's via Zoom. And prayer planning for Manamain ministry heads and small team leaders on August 24, 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. po. Dito rin po sa ating sanctuary. And out na rin po yung ating new Devo. Kung may, if you have, if you want to avail, lapit lang po kayo kay Ate Ludi. Okay. And uh, sa August 20 po, yung next second session po ng Ano nga ba yun? training po nung ating mga tech team for sound. Nakalimutan ko. Dito po yun, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, it's being held here. Ang nag-handle po ng training as a, ay ang YAVL. So, August 20 po, Saturday. Yan. And let's be always be ready po pang... For, uh, let's be ready. Nag-open na po, na po tayo unti-unti for our service. Lalo na po pag nag... Open your second floor, we'll accept children who are vaccinated along with their parents. And let's be reminded yung protocols po natin. Kung may ubo po, sipon, you're feeling not feeling well or feverish, uh, wag na po muna tayong pumunta. Uh, and kung ate naman po tayo, for those who are feeling well, wala po yung symptoms, uh, let's be reminded lagi po natin suotin yung ating mask. And even for traveling outside and May, uh, medyo may surge pero sabi ng balita med, sa balita medyo bumababa na if I'm right if I'm not mistaken yan so let's continue to be ready for the coming days kung ano po let's open up our hearts 
and receive from the Lord. Amen. Let's all stand up. Po. Ah, may trailer da pong. So we have something to show. And watch po. Sige. Hi, ako si Ate MC. Mahilig ako makinig ng K-pop at manood ng K-drama. Saranghe! Marugang ina. Hi, ako si Ate Jing. Mahilig ako magluto at kumain. Samahan niyo kami lumikha. Mag-enjoy. Magsaya. Magmahal. Mag-alaga. Kumain. Tuwing linggo sa Mana Children's Church. Tayo po lahat ay magwakas sa panalangin. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Panginoon, salamat po sa hapong ito. Muli po ay nagkaroon po ng mga maliliwanag na pag-asa, maliwanag na hinaharap yung aming tinatahak na journey, Panginoon. Salamat po sa mga salita mo na narinig po namin today. Salamat po sa keep of pain. May purpose po pala. Ang lahat po ng mga sakit na nararamdaman namin, Panginoon. Salamat po, Panginoon, dahil patuloy niyo po kaming tinituruan personally, Panginoon. Uh, kung paano po sinasabi na kayo po, hindi, po tapos sa amin, hindi pa po kayo tapos sa amin. Totoo po pala yon Panginoon, dahil personal mong itinuturo sa amin, Panginoon, magita ng pakikinig sa inyong mga salita kung paano po kami ay magiging katulad mo, kung paano po yung naranasan nyo yung pattern na tinahak mo, kung paano po namin mapagtatagumpayan yun. Patuloy mo po itinuturo sa amin yun, Panginoon, at grateful po kami, Panginoon. Na ba, Panginoon, ang mga itinuturo nyo rin po na hindi kami mawala yung connection sa inyo upang kami po ay makalarga, Panginoon, sa journey na ito. May mangyari, Panginoon, at thankful din po kami dahil may mga bagay po kami na mga disiplinang espiritual na natututunan, Panginoon. At may mga bagay po kayong binibigay sa amin, Panginoon, para kami po ay manatili na naka-anchor naka sa inyo, Panginoon. Kaya salamat po, Lord God, at sa hapong ito, sa lahat po ng narinig namin, sa lahat po ng natutunan namin, Lord, kami po ay nagpapasalamat ng lubo sa inyo, dahil sa pagmamahal mo po na hindi natatapos talaga wala pa noon hanggang nandito kami, Panginoon. Lagi po yung pag-ibig nyo na nag-aalab, 
ay lagi mo pong ipinaparana sa amin araw-araw, Panginoon. At tawa po sa bawat araw po, talaga po yung kaligtasan, yung salvation na naranasan namin, Panginoon. Ito po ay magdadala ng mga bagay, Panginoon, sa aming buhay, Panginoon, para sa ibang tao dahil yung po yung purpose mo, Panginoon. Salamat po, Lord Jesus. Salamat po talaga sa hapong ito dahil may mga natutunan naman po kami at ito po ang patuloy na maging gabay namin sa araw-araw na amin journey with you, O God. Salamat po, patuloy ang pagpapala mo po ay dumaloy sa bawat isa sa amin na naririto. pag sa bawat sambahayan po na nakikiasamba sa amin, Panginoon, sa hapong ito, Lord, ang pagpapala mo rin po ay patuloy na manatili sa bawat tahanan ng bawat kapamilya namin, O God. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa iyo po ang lahat ng pagpupuri, sa iyo po ang lahat ng pasasalamat sa pangalan po ng aming Panginoong Jesus. Patuloy po nating tanggapin ang kalubusan ng kanyang biyaya sa ating pong mga buhay. May the Lord God bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up His countenance towards you and fill your life with His never-ending shalom. In the name of our Messiah, our Lord Yeshua. Amen and Amen. Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Purihin po ang Panginoon. Praise God.